There have been so many things in my world in the last 24 hours that have come thematically uh, across my desk, so to speak, whether it's professionally, personally, in my family, my family of origin, things like loss, forgiveness, compassion, trauma, triggers, identity, intersectionality. Like I could grab onto so many of those things that have been on my mind. But one thing I really want to talk about just briefly that's on my mind um, is something about friendship and also standing up for yourself. Um, I had a situation where someone was telling me a story, um, some, a really painful story about a terrible thing that had happened to them and that their dear friend of many years uh, was not only not supportive around this issue, but was really blaming and hurtful and unforgiving. And that was a, a second kind of pain for this person that they were dealing with. And of course, in my mind, I felt that that was very unfair and, um, you know, something that was just making a bad situation so much more painful. And I've often talked about how grateful I am for the friends who have helped me through the last few years that have been, you know, somewhat difficult, uh, an understatement in some ways, and how I'm grateful uh, for their friendship. And that, you know, for me, friendship is about loving each other, even though we're fallible and we make mistakes. Um, but also, you know, the kind of the flip side of that, and this is kind of where my brain went to in this situation, is how sometimes we have to stand up for ourselves. Obviously, forgiving ourselves is often the hardest thing to do. Um, but when somebody hurts us, um, it can be really difficult not to just absorb that, but to turn around instead and push back a little bit and actually sit up straight, stand up, and advocate for yourself in that situation when someone is hurting you. Um, and to say, you know what, actually my reality is this. And, um, you know, that can be really hard because we're so quick to blame ourselves in a situation um, in which we've done something wrong. And so, so often we turn to shame, um, not just guilt, but shame. And so how much strength it takes actually to say to someone, you know, the way that you're responding me, to me in this situation when I'm feeling really vulnerable is actually hurtful. And you know what, I really don't feel like this is something that I deserve right now and what I'm asking for you in this friendship. Um, is something more about acceptance and forgiveness and compassion. That's hard. Standing up for yourself is super hard. So to me, like, I guess that this all kind of means that the shit I want to let go of in these kind of situations is the idea that we're going to get the kind of response from people that we love that we want or that we expect or that we should be getting in a certain situation. Letting go the idea that your expectation of the way that you're going to be treated is what you're going to get. And then, of course, once you've let go of that idea, being able to summon your reserves to kind of stand up for yourself and to advocate for yourself, that's a real challenge for a lot of us. And um, so that was kind of what's been on my mind and what's kind of come across my desk. There's so much going on around right now in my world around forgiveness and compassion, and I have so much more to talk about. But to me, the first step of that that was really kind of on my brain was how to push through that and to advocate for yourself. So, um, and to kind of remind yourself of your own strengths and what you bring to a friendship or a relationship, even when you make mistakes. Um, so I will say this, I don't really have, this is obviously only my fourth video, I think. Um, so I don't really have a pattern, but I will say this, the song that came to my mind, uh, before I do a little meditation, the song that came to my mind right after that conversation, I took a walk, which I often do just to kind of clear my head. And um, if you see me taking a walk and I don't have music playing in my ears, that means I've lost my headphones or whatever. I always have music in my ears, unless I'm doing a mindful walk, which is different. Anyway. Um, the song that played almost right away after I had this conversation really suited the situation for me. I love this song, and I don't know if I sat and analyzed the lyrics, if it even has anything to do with this, but every single time I hear the song Leave a Trace by Churches, I just feel like I want to go to a kickboxing class. It always strikes me as somebody standing up for themselves, even when they feel like they've done something wrong or they've there's culpability in both sides of whatever the scenario is. Um, the singer in that song is really just coming across like, hey, 
you know, we're both at blame here. You know, we both have some, some issues we got to work on, but look, I'm standing up for myself. And that song always makes me feel really empowered when I hear it, even if I don't realize that's what it's doing. But after that conversation, it definitely had that impact. So that's the song I'm going to recommend, which is Leave a Trace by Churches. I will add that uh, to the playlist that I've started to generate. But what I want to do is a quick um, mantra meditation. Um, oftentimes, it's really helpful to just come up with a few words or a few phrases just to feel a sense of connection um, with what you're doing with your body. Um, so that might mean that you sit and breathe, just like the soft belly we did on the first day, which we'll return to, I'm sure, in other videos. But um, mantras can be just simple phrases that are really um, kind of serving you in that moment. And so what I'm going to do is just do a quick demonstration of a of kind of a, a mantra meditation. Again, I won't be meditating with you, but I'll be kind of leading this. And for this kind of meditation, you can do something like you can just sit like we do when we meditate in a chair somewhere that feels, you know, where you feel grounded and connected. Um, and, if, and I happen, when I do mantras, I don't know why, I always want to have my hands kind of by my heart so I can do like this or sometimes I'll do this, which just makes me feel like I'm really connecting with my heart as I'm saying things, maybe which lends them to feel like they're more, you know, legitimate to me as I say them, because sometimes I have to, you know, as we do, we have to self-talk and we don't always believe the things we say to ourselves. So for me, whenever I um, do a kind of a mantra meditation alone or with a, a client, I often advise doing something like this. You can also, I don't know if I can do this here. Let's see, I'm on a rolling chair. Um, but you can also do like a tree pose. I'm not a yogi um, and you probably can't see this. Let's see. But you can do like a real basic tree pose where you put your foot kind of at your calf, which is the simplest way. But those of you who have super great balance can put your foot on your knee or even higher. Um, in any case, a tree pose also feels really good when you're doing a mantra exercise like this. So you might want to practice that. But these are the mantra words that kind of came to me or phrases that came to me as I was thinking about this kind of situation. And so here's a demonstration. I am going to do my hands here because that's what feels good to me. And of course, anytime you do any kind of meditation, just focus on your breath. Feel the air as it goes into your lungs. Sit up as straight as you can. You know, it's so easy to slouch, but when you try to do a meditation, it's really good to just sit straight. And the phrases that I'm going to say, if you ever do a phrase um, mantra meditation like this, if you're by yourself, you can you know, say these out loud, or you can say them quietly, silently to yourself. But the ones that I'm going to repeat, um, and you can just repeat them to yourself, um, here they go. As I say them, I'm going to pause so that you could say them to yourself. I am here. I am here. I am strong. I am strong. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of forgiveness. I am worthy of forgiveness. I love myself. I love myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself.
So that is a very basic mantra meditation that I encourage you to you come up with whatever words, whatever phrases um, feel right to you at any given moment. Those can be very empowering and also very centering. If your thoughts you know, are kind of scattered or you're feeling really like these particular words are about forgiving yourself, obviously, um, and what you are worthy of, um, but they can, they can really suit you for just about anything that you're going through. So I encourage you to try some of that as I have been doing myself. All right, thank you for listening.